Let's get some more analysis uh, now. Suai Nilhan Achikalin is a lecturer of international relations at Ankara Haji Bayram Veli University, and she joins us now live from the Turkish capital. Suai, thank you very much indeed for your time uh, and for joining us on the news hour. Um, what was the immediate reaction uh, and the immediate impact to Turkey's foreign relations uh, after this attempted coup? Thank you, Aaron. Uh, of course, the 15th of July coup attempt was the uh, milestone in the democracy history. And of course, it has an undeniable effect on the Turkey's foreign policy after that night. We should accept it that at that night, Turkey didn't find the solidarity from the so-called European and American allies. That's why it, this reality nudged to Turkey, rethink it is Turkey's foreign policy once more. And we can say that the, after the 15 July, 15 July coup attempt, Turkey has a new foreign policy uh, formulation. We can say that the Turkey continued it is ongoing Ankara-based foreign policy, but the strength with the more uh, cross-border engagements like we saw in the just after the one and a half months later, the coup attempt, the European Shields operation, and later four different operations in Syria. And also, Turkey started to seek more autonomy in the defense capability. It's obvious that the Turkey, Turkey cannot more reliance on the Western allies anymore. And lastly, Turkey shows much more global and regional uh, power protections after the 15 July, uh, 15 July coup attempt. Well, you mentioned a, a lack of support, perhaps, then, from uh, European partners, uh, perhaps European allies. Um, why do you think that was? And, and which countries did come to Turkey's support, and indeed that of the Turkish president? Uh, first of all, that night was uh, basically uh, the European allies failed to show solidarity towards the Turkey. And interestingly, the first official calls comes from the President Putin at that night, but the upcoming days, just after the 15 July coup attempt, it's, it, the uh, reactions of the European allies are also very interesting because uh, until the uh, upcoming months, any of the European countries, ministers or the, any prime ministers never aim to come to the Turkey. Only the British minister state of the uh, Europe and the America, Ellen Duncan, visited the Turkey just after the coup attempt. And also, as far as I remember, the first presidential visit uh, to Turkey after the coup attempt was the uh, President Nazarbayev at that time. And Biden, at that time, you remember that he was a vice president, and he came to the Turkey uh, only after the one and a half months later. And he, in, during his visit, he directly said that uh, I should come more early. So these all events, just after the failed coup attempt, Turkey see the double-sided reaction of the European and the American allies towards the, these brutal coup attempt to democracy institution, not only in Turkey, but the global at all. And as for how Turkey, Turkey sees itself as, as, a, as a regional power and as a global power uh, and its ambitions, how much do you think the, the events of that night six years ago and of the coup attempt have affected those? Uh, and where do you think uh, Turkey stands right now and what it wants to achieve internationally? Aaron, it's a, a hard question to answer. Uh, but I can say that the 15 uh, July coup attempt changed the Turkey's, uh, Turkey's power projection in region and the global scale as well. Entrepreneurship and the humanitarian foreign policy of Turkey powered by the, our president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan's leader diplomacy uh, since then today. And we see the Turkey plays more vital and more central role in regional issues like Libya, Syria. And also Turkey started to play more actively engaged role in the global crisis, as we saw in the last Ukrainian-Russian war as a peacemaker. And also while Turkey started to addressing the food crisis, all the world watching the Ukrainian-Russian crisis uh, from their size with their priorities. So we can say that Turkey started to be play more actively engaged in regional and global issues with more powerful uh, self-defense capabilities in the defense sector. And of course, uh, today with the motto of Turkey forever will play a remarkable role in the global issues as well.